after all these years. Well, some of us are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll fucking give you in a minute. I love how compressed this fucking audio is. I have been spoiled by nice, clear, crisp sounding electronic music. I thought all you listened to was video game music and VTuber singing. I actually don't really listen to VTuber singing stuff. Wow. I also listen to a lot of different kinds of music, Bear, not just video games. Okay, fine. Video game and anime. I will fucking slap the shit out of you. So fucking help me, Bear. How dare you? You're like half right. Look, I just love those images where... Somebody should post how, like, somebody's whining, how rap isn't a real music. Rap's and, fucking great. And they're like, I only... I only listen to real music, like, uh, video game and anime openings. I loop the song like a genius. A big brain genius. Hey, Lola. Uh, I see you're a coward and didn't go with uh, my suggestion for stream title. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about inside in the title. Well, look, you need so that when people jump in and uh, um, jump in the middle of the stream, they can be like, what's this about inside? And then we can restart a conversation over and over for the next few hours. <laughs> Just gonna put an inside command for the bot. It's great because I was listening to the soundtrack. YouTube is also like the philosophical meaning of insight. Insight interpreted. What is insight about? It's like I I don't need this. I actually watched the movie. I'm fine. I watch so little of those interpretation videos simply because I'm my education is literally interpreting literary work, so I'm kind of, I, I don't actually need this, I'm good, thank you. Congrats. Look, I'm just, um, we can save the inside talk for, like, when the stream starts proper. Yeah, okay, but, like, I'm not gonna- Okay, so first off, I'd never seen anything from Drainus, Lolo, so I had no clue what you meant. Secondly, I'm not gonna name my fucking stream Need to Suck to Save Daddy. Hey, Shark Vega. So I probably could have come up with a better description on Twitter, but also it's been a day of like intermittent fucking net issues. And it's been slowly worn away at me. Between Twitch not wanting to export a single fucking video to uh my net cutting in and out for a little while. What are you freaking doing that for? 
It's a good game, Ice Claw, and thanks for the sub. You know, it's a tragic that my awareness of the Swedish Kroner dropping in value is only there because my free commissions have gotten more expensive with the conversion rate. <laughs> you know what? No. No. It affects everyone differently. I'm just like, hmm, this wasn't what $40 used to be worth a few months ago. Something's wrong here. <laughs> like, oh, the Swedish Chrono dropped in the value. Fuck. Look, man, it, it affects everyone differently. Fucking furry commissions are no less valid. Oh, nice, Anora. Yeah, uh, there was a long fucking call earlier today to the ISP, and they're sending us new hardware. Again. Because basically the last dude, the, 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 the tech they previously had come over here didn't actually do anything. While being incredibly condescending, it was kind of amazing. Same, I also want to fight Verizon and Nora, because I too use Fios. It blows. Oh yeah, did you see that Twitch took away our friends? I, yeah, it's true, I don't have any friends anymore. Yeah, now it's, uh... Now that segment is swapped with, uh... Uh, channels, the channel you're currently watching also watches, so like, <laughs> on your pages. <laughs> Torpus Typus viewers also watch. Uh... Let me see. I've never. This is why. This is why. By the way, all the little icons I see on your channel, I don't recognize. Because usually, when I watch furry streamers, I'm like, oh yeah, I know all these recognized channels. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what is yours? It? Are some like random people I've never heard of in my life? Uh, could, could you name some? Drinking with skeletons. No clue what the fuck that is. Uh, who's this? Lime malicious vampire the masquerade. No clue who the fuck that is. Henemimi doing Melody or Song No clue who anything. the fuck that is. <laughs> you, you should be more aware of channels you share viewers with, because then you can create content tailored to your current viewers. Uh, yes, but also that would require watching streams, which I don't really do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's okay, <laughs> Bao. It's nothing personal. I haven't seen an armadillo fucking kick my ass and me lose my fucking shit over how fucking garbage it is. Yeah, th there's a single stream I watch with any degree of regularity, I just thought you're right. And I'm- that's because I mod for her. Now you see, this is, this is just Torpid's way of making me invite him for a collaboration so he wouldn't watch the streams <laughs> because then he's on them. <laughs> oh my god, this is the boss theme. I forgot how much it blew. There's one boss theme that's pretty bad. Let me need to see. Oh, that's a final boss theme. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's pretty dumb. <laughs> it's not great? The rest of the soundtrack is great though. Oh yeah, no, no, it, it fucking whips ass mostly. It's just like, man, the final boss seems fucking weak. It's gonna be great because I've, I've streamed this game several times and usually beaten it in one stream, and we'll, we'll use to rewind and beat it in one stream, so I'm curious how many streams it's gonna take you. Yeah, it's fun because I'm also gonna be using a controller I'm not super used to. We had to see my favorite game over screen, at least. Yeah, I usually drop by Wang's stream, Low Sneeze, if he's got an open call and playing something I'm interested in to some degree. Also, because I'm usually up around that time. I don't think Torpid has a habit of raiding, because I think he hates raiding. I raid occasionally. 
Also, <sighs> okay. So the reason I never wa raid Wang is a really dumb one, and I do raid him occasionally. I just feel like I would always be doing it because I don't watch that many people, and I would really only ever recommend someone I watch or I'm friends with. And he's usually the only one on at that time, and I figured I've also got enough overlap that I don't need to raid him constantly. It's... It's me being me and overthinking things. That's the answer, Nora. That's a very weird question to me in general. It's like, Torpid, why don't you raid anybody? Why don't you raid Wang? Do you like Wang? Aren't you friends? Well, that's a you problem, Minora. Nah, it's, it's, it's a valid question considering how often I drop by there after the stream. Also, um... Probably switch over. Or I would if I had remembered to actually set up the capture. I'm smart. No, don't, don't worry, Torp, you can always raid me. It's fine. Except, usually... I could do it on Sundays, maybe, yeah, if I run late enough, but otherwise... That's fine, I'm, I've only raided you... twice a month, maybe? I actually don't know, I sometimes see you after I'm done with the stream, I'm like, oh fuck, you just go see Torp. <laughs> there we go, okay. Whoop! Oh, come on, Maurice, and everybody knows who I has, have beef with. That's not I've raided you before, Lolo. Not all the time, but I've done it before. I'm just very spotty with raids, because I've always been super weird about them. It's a personal I, thing. I, I raid Lolo every Friday, and in turn, he has to raid me every, every Sunday, and if that would ever stop, we would have to ask each other, <laughs> are you upset with me? Did they do something? I'm really sorry. What have I done to offend? Did I remember to leave the sound on? Did you remember to share your screen so I can have sound? I, I'm making sure everything's working first. Okay. The fun part's gonna be finding out if it's too quiet or not. Behold, Discord again. Why does it do that? Always weird thinking that this is the dot hack people. Uh, I'll have you know they are the sole little people. On a battlefield. I lost oh, that is super quiet. Yeah, I want to hear the explosions even if you're silent. What I believed in. Each time I went into battle. I'm the mere shell of a man. Yeah, turn that up a little bit more. And now, nothing more than a killing machine. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot how good this fucking track screen is. Okay, it just can't decide how loud it wants to be, is what I'm realizing. Yeah, that's impossible that the game doesn't know how loud it wants to be. Oh boy. Stop, stop <laughs> ruining the intro, now I have to replay the intro. <laughs> so we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? <laughs> then which player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder? God, God, I I'm forgot aware. that he spoke like entirely in chess metaphors. It always has a chess piece, Andy. Uh, you're gonna have to play a tutorial as well because it has plots. Yep. I was going to anyway because, like, I don't remember at all. Because I don't. I think I played this, like. I can't remember if I played this or not, is what I'm gonna say. You've commented on, like, a Let's Play of it. Yeah! On stream, like six though. years ago. <laughs> Man, it's been six years. It's uh, been si 
It, it, okay, I think it was before I started streaming, so it may even be before that. No, it was probably it was probably before I moved. So yeah, six years ago sounds accurate. Oh man, as captions on by default. What the fuck is this game? I'm this game is way ahead of its time as well as. Yeah. Also, once again, let me know anything about the audio. If it's too much, too little. Chat. I I appreciate it when people tell me. Because I'm always slightly paranoid about it. Wow, Bear can see me turning him down. Wow, thank you. See, you got tutorial and opening. My favorite game modes. No, this game is fucking great, Chachi. The battlefield was all I knew of the world. And the voice. The voice that issued orders to me was the only thing I could believe in. <laughs> I forgot, it just, it starts. Utah, Utah, come in. This is Utah. I'm ready for my instructions. Very well. This will be your first taste of a real Good boy, battle. Jutta. Fulfill this mission and prove to me that your training has paid off. I'll give it everything I got. Okay, let's see, we got jump. First, remove any obstacles that stand in the way of the squads coming up behind you. Yeah. Then, plant a bomb on the marked area. What's your problem? Do it. Uh, 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 yeah, do it. What? Yeah, uh, do it. Uh, um... Also, this had stick support. Yeah, I'm... This game is very good. And yeah, chat, I'm sorry to say, but like, A, the main character, Yuta's voice, is always quiet. Uh, and B, I can't control the What's audio balancing. Do it. Okay. What's your problem? Wait. Do it. Wait. What's your problem? Do it. What's your problem, Torben? What's your problem? Do it. What's your problem? Do it. <laughs> What's your problem? Do it. Basically, if I hit certain buttons... What's your problem? I'm I'm Do hitting it. I'm hitting the button. What's your problem? You have to be next to it. All right. Oh, I stay see. clear of the blast radius. Eh. Good work. Let's do this. It won't let me blow yeah, up the game, car. This game has ridiculously now good this music, but not the story. To blow it up. Stack. Hey, Dementian. A technique employing multiple Stack. explosives to increase the blast. When you set it, hit the button twice. Oh and man, that shit's stacked. Between you and the bombs. Let me, let me. There. Ooh, my bones. Get my god, a box. There's an enemy unit approaching from up ahead. Engage them with the add-on equipment we airdropped. Destroy the container and retrieve the lock-on unit. Ooh. Oh! Enemy at close range. Okay, listen. I'll explain how to use the lock -on. I'm sorry. Could you talk a bit louder? I can't hear you over the helicopter. Your sight. Please talk a bit louder. Enemy on your sight and lock on. You've just planted a bomb on the enemy. Hit the detonator button. Well done. Pick up the material dropped by the enemy. Ooh. What you have there is a highly volatile liquid. Yeah, it's called napalm. Using this in conjunction with your bombs will result in more powerful and deadly explosions. Look at the window located to the side of your life gauge. Note that napalm is currently selected. Push the button and try using it. Please, Loaf Sneeze, if I want a Bomberman for fuckers, I just fucking play Bomberman Hero. You mean Bomberman Zero? That's enough. Damn. When you've obtained various types of liquid, you can switch among them with the item select button. What? What's the item? Oh. Just don't forget that these are exhaustible items. Uh, it's the shoulder pad buttons, I think. Ooh, I'm gonna get there eventually. Yeah! Eliminate this final obstacle on your own. Can you do this, Torper? Oh no. Oh no! I failed! Whee! Sorry, I'm having too much fun with the stick. I also believe if you press jump twice, you do a dash. I can blow myself up. 
Yes, you can. Oh, maybe you don't have it yet. Okay, maybe we'll get it later. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck stacking. Go on ahead. We've detected another enemy group. It's a large one this time. If you quickly push the ah yes, twice, the, the large enemy group, a drive. church. Put it to good use and make your way through their attack. Yeah, you have the boost boost drive now, so you can like press double jump to air jump, yep. air dash. How did how did that what? You know, I'm not I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Doesn't By the way, the damage is not really, like, proportional, so as you had a higher stack, it deals more and more damage per actual bomb. Yeah, I'm trying to just figure out how to stack the, uh... With the so when you lock on, you just mash the button. Oh, okay. So, so I do it like air this. Target that thing. No, no, when you air target, then you mash, so you lock onto it. And then just smash. Okay. That's yeah. not terribly apparent. Time to fuck up a church! Oh, wait. Remember that you also have an napalm. And you can stack the napalm. Oh. Uh, you can't lock on the napalm, though. Okay. You can only lock on regular bombs. Special bombs need to be uh, manually placed. Get, get over here. Thank you, game. Rude. No. What if it's a hovercraft tank? You don't really see those that often. Okay, so the issue is I need to stop to do the, uh, the stacking. Otherwise, uh, I will hit the wrong spot. Okay. But yeah, if you see, if you saw the health bar, you would see that, like, two bombs stack do more damage than two individual bombs. Yep. There we go. I am, yeah, I, I need to not move to stack bombs. What's this place? It's an enemy stronghold. Burn down the entire installation. Roger. Right, baby, we one of those games. Time for war crimes. I see if I that. Oh, my homies love war crimes. <sighs> Those are... But... But I thought there were soldiers in here! How do you know they're not soldiers? They're on fire. Everyone looks the same on fire. Civilians! Calm down, Utah. Burn everything to the ground. <laughs> Love it, Lime. So but, good. But... It helps that the delivery is incredibly flat. That's an order. Which I Understood, fucking despise sir. the fact that there is a reason the delivery is flat. Yes. Also, Ice Claw, um... Funny you say that. We do get a prospect for it. <laughs> oh man! I forgot Work about- are hilarious. <laughs> Welcome to the space future, where the music's incredibly quiet. Same nightmare. Seven years have passed, yet I'm still torturing myself. Utah, Utah, are you there? You did set the autopilot, right? Yeah. Then get down here to the lander. I try to forget the nightmare by continuing to fight, as I'm doing today. You know, it's really fucked that they- We'll be in Dante's hmm. security zone soon. Friend or foe is FOF. Our ship will transmit this code to get past their sensors, then six assault teams will infiltrate. Providing we can get that close, of course. Our codes are flawless. If we can really trust these codes, shouldn't they have sent in a crack military unit or something? Don't you think, Utah? My only duty is to destroy my designated target. I'm concerned with nothing else. Boy, you just can't wait to start blowing things up, huh? 
get this straight. We're here to save Hornet. Safeguarding our planet is the objective. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? Where did you get that? Each player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder. Where did you get that? Honk, honk, honk. Transmit access codes. Man, they really uh, get some mileage out of that fucking rumble, let me tell you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you're gonna have a long rumble. I can't wait for my hands to go fucking numb. Warn, warn, warn. Codes are flawless. But yeah, it's real fuck that they frame the fucking tutorial as a PTSD flashback. I think it's great. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's so it's super fucked up. Utah. Okay, we've got our dual discs ready. It's time to play some game. No damage to e units. Now commencing the operation. The E stands for explosion. Ah! We're in trouble, Aubrey! Everybody's getting shot down! Who would have guessed that flying over there anti-air was a bad idea? Don't waste time worrying about that. Give me instructions. That is what you're here for. Yes, I know. You too. Can you talk a little louder? I can't I hear you over the music. Anti-aircraft weaponry. Acknowledged. So he does a power bottom. He really can't function without somebody giving him orders. Ah, oh, and Henri's the service top, is what you're saying. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you're right, and I hate that you're right. An E-unit power-up hidden in that box located in front of you. Destroy the box and get the E chip. I'm glad I was able to teach Chachi what those words meant recently. Uh, yeah, you can't awful lock on boxes. You need to actually press stuff. Uh, press uh, start. Um, button menu. Sorry, enter menu. Uh, e unit. So this is where you distribute your E chip. So you can boost your shield, your range, or your bombs, and you can freely do that at any point. And bombs is the priority. Um, it depends. You're gonna be going back and forth on this. I think back and forth between bomb and range is the big one. Uh, I go through all three, trust me. But yeah, you will not be able to max out everything. But you should be diligent about blowing everything up. As far as containers go. You fucker. Okay, I'm guessing these are infinite. The beam uh, no, you can destroy the spawners. Either side. Oh, I can destroy that the spawners. That's it. Destroy them. Yeah, I think that's the standard you can destroy. It. Okay, I need to get better used to uh, using the bombs. Is that that it? That is like playing an FPS and being like, I better get used to shooting. That is true. But the controls for the bombs are weird, and I also need to stop running into bullets. Yes, you do. Uh, you can also blow up bullets. A lot of them, at least. There we go. There are targets nearby. The target ought to be designated with a marker. Also, what? you can blow yourself less up. The third platoon's lander is heavily damaged. Damn it, talk about bad luck. Machino, quit complaining. The sixth uh, platoon is gone! I, this is my favorite man? character. Tim, stop your whining. But we won't last that long at this rate! God! I fucking loved him. 
Uh, you should blow up the boxes. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can't target them. Yeah, you need to actually manually set stuff next to them. Um, so yeah, a bit of, um, uh, manual lore, uh, for you folks watching at home. Um, so we are a, uh, team that's basically a, uh, suicide squad. We're made up of, uh, inmates, various criminals, so you that here is a, uh, war criminal. Um, I believe John is a technically criminal in the sense that he defended his, uh, native tribe, and, uh, the, the government didn't like that. Uh, Michino's a spy. Uh, I can't remember what Tim was. Tim is some sort of, like, mechanic, and he helped people that the government didn't like. And then Benoit is also some, like, Benoit's an asshole. Criminal. Uh, but yeah, go, go, go break, go break the, the brown boxes. They're very important, Norfolk. Yeah, I've been trying to. Do you want to get those delicious e-chips? Ah, oh, yeah, you figure out the strat. You can attach the bomb to the unit spawning and then blow it up. Or I can just do that. Do that. Okay. Back to what I was trying to do. Benoit, whose last name is Mandelbrot. Okay. Is that like, uh, what's that? That's like, um, almond bread. I blew myself up for the greater good. That being an e-chip. Oh! Yeah, it's a Gravity Liquid. Gravity Liquid is one of my favorites. You have more boxes down right. Sometimes they're hard. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Need to get into the habit of noticing them. Yeah, I'm, I'm pointing them out because I don't want you missing each other. Ah, I lit my own ass on them. fire. So the E-chip will automatically invest in the bomb, so now you have a third bomb. You can always rearrange that if you ever want to. Oh, okay. I think I want to get to four bombs before I start investing in range. Ah, four, the number of death. Exactly. Yeah, it's a nice number three. Uh, also, there is a little trick you can do, which only really matters with a uh, higher bomb count. If you do that uh, boost drive, while you're sliding in the ground, you can mash the bomb thing, and you'll do like a line of bombs. Easy peasy. What? Uh, you, don't, you don't have to destroy everything, but it gives you points. Uh, also, a good thing about the uh, napalm is that it'll automatically kill those green projectiles. Oh, neat. Yeah. Okay, but that sounds incredible. Okay, yeah, that's that's a combination of things, ain't it, Lolo? Uh, that platform you jumped off of was actually, actually had a thing, I yep. thing you can break. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, never mind. Oh, so I didn't mean to there... jump off it to clarify. Yeah, you do have wall jumps as well. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, you don't have anything there, I guess. There are some platforms like that that do have stuff. This is what I was trying to do. Hmm, interesting. Okay. It's really... The, the the air dash feels very slippery. Well, takes some getting used to, but it's a uh, useful tool. There's not really many games that handle like this one. No shit. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize I had basically finished them off. Oops. 
Ow, rude. Super rude. I think gotta be I dicks, have man. More, yeah, you got more boxes there. Yeah. Ooh, big health. Big health. Yeah. But yeah, the shield is essentially damage reduction to your health. Looks like all the anti-aircraft mm. weaponry in this area is out of commission. The area designated with a marker is the next place you should go. Follow the marker and proceed ahead. Also, yeah, it's, it's, this is drum and bass as hell, this soundtrack. Which is like 90s. That is the 90s. 90s were defined in video games by drum and bass. I will eliminate the targets. Get clear. Um, so did you pick up any EMP grenades? I don't. I did. Yeah, so EMPs are pretty useful against bosses. You don't need to, like, stack all of them. You yeah. one is enough. It'll. It'll basically force them to stand still. Uh, won't, look, won't work on non-mechanical things. I figured. I need to stop doing that. It's fine, you're playing the game as any person who plays this for the first time. Dick! That's fucking rude, my dude! Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? You, you, you fucking stop that! While I completely missed the mark. Oh yeah, that's right, they're breakable parts too. Yep. Please stop. Thank you. Goodbye. What a hard boss fight. I can't wait to incredibly eat massive amounts of shit later on. Been able to raise Benoit. Are you picking him up? No. Oh, he's probably going rogue. I see. At any rate, let's look for a way in. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna warn you, this game has a ranking system. Um... And it fucking takes zero shit. Yeah, I remember seeing you play through the game and still fucking struggle with it, despite knowing the game, like, in and out. Yep. D for dingus. I think the highest I ever got was, like, an A. Once. We were fucking shocked when you got a B, I remember. Yeah. And then, uh, also, yeah, the save the game. My girthy memory card. And you have a separate memory card for each game? Can't believe how bougie you are. No, no, it's all the same memory card. Let's see, what do we got for E-Unit? Yeah, let's get up to four bombs and then we'll start working on range. Our team, the only one left of the assault unit. Our team, the only one left of the assault unit. But can we really say we're lucky or not wording things incredibly awkwardly? I had a feeling that more fighting would be waiting for us behind these, those heavily sealed doors. That's right. Eliminate the enemy and find an ingress route. Ingress. Language is fun. Oh, I love this track is good. Get in the hang of it at least. Remember to break the boxes yep. that you've been ignoring. I'm trying to clean up. Ouch, 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 ouch. I don't think E chips these spawn, but the other shit does, so you might need to pick it up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Ooh, a data chip! Uh, so data chips are unlockable characters for the versus mode. I need to, uh, go take care of that spawner. 
I can break everything. Okay. Uh, you did break open a box, by the way. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know what? Fuck trying to clear the place, because th those spawners are clearly a mile away. Like, holy shit. Why are they so far away? Raisius, this place uh, yeah. is fucking huge. Yeah, this spaceship is, like, the size of a planet. It is a planet destroyer. Yes. How are we gonna build a planet destroyer? I know, build a ship that's the size of a planet that can destroy planets. Oh, you skipped the cutscene! I, did I? Yes! You skipped the cutscene with my favorite character. Oh, I, all I did was tap the stick. Yeah, don't touch anything. Well, I wasn't expecting a cutscene. That's my favorite character. Uh, you just signed your death warrant! You're dead! Count on it! I'm not- Okay, so first off, Ice Claw, don't- don't do that. Just don't. Second off... I- I appreciate the guy missing an arm giving me guff. Picking up a high level energy signature ahead. He, he's the recurring anime villain of this game, I love him. Oh. Oh right, I forgot how short this stage was. Anyway, you have four bombs now. Hope you enjoy your explosions. Yeah, look at how big that explosion is. Look at that VFX It's a meaty explosion. I deserve that. It also damages you more, by the way. Please, let me harm you. You cut that shit out. Uh, and yeah, those shields are a universal mechanic, so you'll see a lot of stuff just... Be immune to bombs. Um, I don't think you can... You cannot place bombs on it, or I think if you detonate it... You can't detonate them. Yeah, if you detonate it, nothing happens. that. There you go. Yeah, so a larger stack of EMP makes it last longer, I think, and then larger stacks of the other stuff is just a bigger area. I see. Well, mercifully, that was short. This is called Silent Bomber, Carmine. Lieutenant, come in. They've been shot down. Yeah, that was that's kind of the whole scream, dude. I don't know what you expected. Uh, Rip. Yeah, that's level. Well, stage two was pretty short. What will I do if my commanding officer isn't here to boss me around? <laughs> that's my Utah. That's my Utah. What? I was watching you fight, observing the man in action. You truly do belong on a battlefield. What is that supposed to mean? You'll find out eventually. We'll meet again. To be fair, Utah's not exactly like a flight risk or anything. He's pretty passive, actually. <laughs> okay. Nice. Like, you'd think the dude with bombs, like, bomb launchers strapped to his arms would be a bit more volatile, but no, he's actually. Pretty passive. Well, his soul did die that day on the battlefield. Oh, I thought it was just because he needs orders to do anything. Well, yeah, because he has no soul. Henri, Henri, I'm hungry. What do I do? <clears throat> Henri, quit whining and just order me around. What? You're telling me that Hornet assault teams got on board the ship? 
All right. Go to alert level yellow. Eliminate the intruders immediately. <laughs> Just what do those fools think a handful of sorry two-legged worms can do against the Dante? The Dante. Come in, Utah. Do you read me? Utah! Utah! You don't have to scream. I can hear you. You should have contacted me immediately. Now look here! We had our hands full shaking off enemy units in a ship that's shot full of holes! All I want from you is a status report, not a sob story. Every assault team except for us has been wiped out. I've lost contact with Benoit, too. Tim and oh, John the are repairing the lander. So good. Meanwhile, Machino and I are attempting to hack into their system. In order to pull that off, the system would have to be temporarily distracted. That's where my Ah, yeah, I love distracting right? computers. My favorite thing to do. I think he's just looking well, for excuses now. I can be a diversion. I can distract everyone with deadly explosions. Andre needs a big diversion if she's going to hack into their system. I've chosen the energy distribution facility as the target for my faint operation. Yeah, faint energy distribution. The energy plant should be just be Okay, uh, this does work. Just beyond this area. Yeah, you can blow uh, up those tracks, by the way. I can't, I know. Your current position is over 100 oh, yeah. I can't remember if they have iron drops or not. Point. They might. You'll need to use your lander again to get No, no, they, you'll, you'll see them on the track if there is. That reminds me. Everything is... Sometimes it's really hard to parse what's happening. It's explosions. I mean, you're correct. Yes, Unlike the name of the game, nobody here is actually silent, so there will be a lot of acting in this game. Look, he's... He, it's called Silent Bomber because nobody can actually hear what he says over all of the noise. It's not that he's actually silent, it's the illusion of silence. <laughs> what a dick. Cut that shit out, man. Kaboom. God damn it! Uh, I'll be right back and eat some more. I'll miss you. Goodbye. You go the fuck away. No, it's it's not a hot chip. It's just a chip. Oh. Perfect. Now we go to E unit. Perfect. Later. Yeah, it is kind of fun just murdering things. You ever just wanna kill shit?
Chat, you ever just you ever just want to go ape shit? I, I love the, the exclamations they make. Oh, get that D. Get the D chip. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy uh, trying to clean. Wow, you call murder cleaning? That's fucked up, man. Oh, man. I'll make the rules. There we go. Mmm. What do you think an Egypt tastes like? Take out all energy condensers Vinegar. in this area. I'll begin hacking when the energy I think I asked that so during the LP. Wow, Torp, you're using six year old jokes? Yeah, fucked up. I can't believe your humor hasn't evolved since 2016. What the okay, fuck about don't you. How fucking dare you? I'm joking. That's that's too far, man. You've gotten at least three new jokes since. Ooh, look a car. Uh, that's a clown car, so you can just probably blow it up. Is it because these guys are clowns? Yes. Ah! Oh, the noises the enemies make are so good. There we go. Forget that he has- it has a ledge grab. Yeah. It's- it's- The game is very good. It has a lot of very good mechanics. The best one being that you keep blowing yourself up. It's- it's- I- I would argue I've done more damage to myself. Uh, that's how it usually is with this game, until you learn how to play it. And then you realize I have to stop doing damage to myself, because everything is now able to kill me. In general, without that. It's- it's all I know. Remember how you said, oh, shield's probably Target useless. Shut up. Destroy everything. Hey! Target is still remaining. Destroy everything. Yeah, you have to go back here, you target actually skip the target. Remaining. Destroy everything! Okay, but- wait, wait, wait. I wanna see if I- Target is still remaining. Destroy everything! Yeah, you found a trigger volume. Congratulations. You've uncovered the game development secret. Okay, of no. My problem here is I was hoping that I could see if I could get the, uh, the, the, the get it to overlap. Oh, we're doing Q&A now? Or should QA for uh, video games? <laughs> Look, man, I just thought it would have been funny if I could get it to overlap, but no, they were smart. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on fire. You, you can get, you, you can get away. From, you got away from it now, uh, Cyber Connect. Well, I'll see you when we start playing uh, what's called Dot Hack in those Naruto games. Yeah, and, seriously, uh, I'm gonna stream the Dot Hack games. That's a great idea. And the Sad Furry game. I should actually stream one of those though. Not the Dot Hack. The games. Sad Furry game. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, only the latest one is sad. The previous two aren't sad. That's why I said one of those. In, uh, yeah. Sadly, you're a cop in the first one, but it's still pretty fun. It's fine. It's it's a different reality where cops are actually effective. Although. The criminals are still, like, racially profiled. Oh, 100%! Racism's a huge issue in that game. <laughs> what if we My used favorite... furries as a metaphor for racism? I mean, at least they didn't use fantasy Two races. The have finished repairing the lander and are headed for the catapult. Uh, I think that is progress, so if you go to the other side, time. you might have some shit. My favorite. This is Silent Bomber. Dick. Dick. Uh, yeah. 
we were talking about Tail Concerto, yep. uh, which is the uh -oh. uh, furry cop game. And then there's Soul to Robo, which is... I actually never played Soul to Robo, um, but it's a DS game, and it's also furry. And then there's Fuga Memories of Steel, is uh, a game where you have... Uh, war orphans, and uh, you're piling, you have a tank you've stolen, but the tank is powered by a soul cannon, so you can put the orphans in the soul cannon to use it. And then they permanently die because you shot them out of a fucking soul cannon. Yeah, I should dig out my uh, DES, which may or may not work, because I haven't booted it up in six years, but it has Soul to Robo on it. I've never played Soul to Robo. I've also never owned it, so that probably doesn't help. Okay, Sanagi. But why would I have a Soul Cannon and not use it? That's, that's dumb. Look, the Soul Cannon serves a purpose. If, if the Soul Cannon was not meant to be used, why would it be in the tank? Why would God give me a soul cannon if he didn't want me to use the soul cannon? Whoops. Oh, you... Whoa! Oh, okay. Look, man. This, this does have a checkpoint. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just paranoid sometimes. But you might get health in one of those. Yeah, I'm... Uh, or not. I got I like gravity liquid, so that's nice. I, I, I like how you jumped over the fire. I know what I'm doing. Uh, yes, they did ha ha give Yoko Taro... Uh, they invited Yoko Taro to try out the game and comment on it for their YouTube channel, and uh, uh, he immediately shot all the orphans out of the cannon to see where the game accounted for all the dialogue changes, and he kept calling out the director uh, for being horny for furries. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Whoosh! In very subtle way, like, mm, yeah, I don't know, viewers, this looks sexually deviant to me. Mr. Director, would you like to talk about it? Well, I mean, you can die, it's okay. There's no shame in dying in Silent Bomber. It's- I deserve that one, actually. I gently tapped him. Is this... really... the end? <laughs> you know what, it's worth seeing Roger that back. screen, at the very least. Out. Look, I oh, uh, when I was a kid, condensers in this area. Oh shit, you didn't reach checkpoint. Well, you, you're not gonna be more careful because you've learned the game. <laughs> Shut up. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, that game over screen was the coolest fucking shit to me. I'm like, oh my god, that's so dramatic and sad. Okay, I lost all the chips I gained. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to regain them. But I promise, there are checkpoints in this game. I believe you. Uh huh. Yeah, I believe you. Remember, chat. Bear would never lie to me. I mean, would I? Nah. You're, you're good. I would only withhold information if I thought it would be entertaining, but I have been very forthcoming with information about how to commit war crimes. It's true. If there's anyone who, who can respect committing a war crime, it's Bear. <laughs> Wow, 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 Corporate, what's that supposed to mean, huh? <laughs> Seen some of the games you play. I'm not talking about that part. <laughs> I will I will remind you what the most popular depiction of my origin yeah, is. Yeah shit, games. that's right. Oh fuck me. I legitimately forgot. Yeah, you would. No, I'm kidding. No, that was that was a fun conversation to have with that one dude. Oh, yeah, for you it was one dude, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Targets are on the level above you. Search for a route that will get you up there. Please. Somebody in my Discord was like, Oh man, 
there's like less than 10 Irish characters in fighting games? That's not much at all. Meanwhile, me looking up looking up and posting a screenshot of a list of Serbian video game characters. <laughs> and it's just like, huh, can, chat, hey everybody, can you guess what the common thread among these like five characters are, is? Are they and perhaps all villains? <laughs> They're all villains and or war criminals. <laughs> Yay! Hurry up and destroy those condensers, Utah. Did you break all the containers on the bomb floor by where or you skip some? Mm, good question. And bald, that's right. Oh. Well, technically, actually, no, I was about to say technically Nico Bellic, uh, Bellic is not a war criminal, but actually he is. That's he is. Back, he's so he... literally a war criminal. That's his entire thing. Yeah, you have a container there. Whoop. There, Leecher. And now we have, now we have more bomb. bombs. But if memory serves... This game lets you respec at any point at any time. Yep. It's fucking great. I forgot how good the soundtrack for this is. It, it's real good. Shame one of the worst songs is probably one of the ones we're gonna hear the most. Uh, I'm gonna say right now, you should manually save state reasonable checkpoints for the final boss. Yeah, no, that was the plan. Cause I even I I love this game, but I'm like I'm fighting the final boss legit. Fuck that shit. I really the 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 gentle taps knocking me a mile away. They're really powerful shields. It's it's pretty heavily implied though. Ice claw is the thing. I'm just saying, I would really appreciate if, I don't know, Tekken put in a Serbian character and his backstory is... I'm from Serbia and, I don't know, I like football, I guess. <laughs> Something normal. He loves three things, flowers, dogs, and moonshine. Basically. <laughs> Or, you know, just make some weird-ass character in Guilty Gear that's like, I don't know, he fights with, um, I don't know, what dumb thing they haven't used so far to use, like, dumbest fucking weapons in Guilty Gear. Everyone in Guilty Gear uses the dumbest fucking weapons, though. He he fights with a Kusarigama, but... No, wait, they already have Yeah, they that. already got that! Yeah. No, okay, what other weapons? He fights with a Naginata, okay? Okay, he fights with a Naginata, but it has blades on both ends. Um, oh, and he's from Serbia for some reason. Because the definalities in the game are basically, oh yeah, by the way, he's from this country. Look, I'm trying to think of unusual weapons and Guilty Gear has most of them covered. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, uh, yeah, the shield is pretty strong. No, 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 please keep shooting. <laughs> Absolute bastard. I got caught on a corner. I should have that fifth bomb. You can also just bomb the targets as well. That is true. But also I can make him dead. In my opinion always a very important thing.
Man, it sure is convenient all these are in one place. Oh, well... That explains a lot. Yeah, that's why I say you can just bomb the targets. Yeah, okay, I didn't need to fight that guy is what I'm learning. Mm-hmm. It's because there's another one here. Whatever. Fucking bullshit. Later, loser. Hey, look, he's floating in the air. Oh, he's gone. He's floating in the air because you blew him up. Shut the fuck up. That was good, but okay. shut up. I'm going to start hacking into the security system now. I'm gonna hack the internet. Here. Hacking success I was fast. Henry is I mean, the mightiest. Yeah, I was gonna say she's the mightiest script kitty. D. Or do better next time. D for Dante. Dante. Have you ever played the Red game? I have never played Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry. DMC, Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry. I think you'd like it. No? Yeah, I, th I think you'd enjoy it. The most dangerous enemy inside the ship is the hard shells, mechanized infantry. Thank you for clarifying, despite using... whatever. Henri has ordered me to mop them up. If I hit them now, I ought to be able to drop on them. Be able to get the drop on them before they can mobilize. Let's destroy all hard shells! The hard shells should be undergoing maintenance. Hard shells! Destroy them ASAP! They're active. It's an ambush? But that's impossible! How? All right! I will secure things topside. You guys, get in there! He's a fucking coward. Looks like I have no choice. Okay, now I've got the two range ups, I've got significantly more range. Yes, that's what a range up would do. Yeah. Well, no, what I mean is I can get more bombs. I, 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 I know, I know. How fucking, I'm, how, I'm how, just how, fuck, how, fucking, how fucking dare you? Yum, 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 yum. Don't worry, my commentary is usually not any better. I like the range ups. I can find the, oh, oh, bullets. Nice. Perfect. Did you know that? Did you know that Ninja Gaiden Two had mimics? Uh, no, but I do now. Oh, I did a trial that took like twenty minutes of fighting and was spawning enemy, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, when will this end?" And I had like a quarter of my health left, and I opened. And I got two chests or where I'm like, "Oh hell yeah, you should give me two chests for this because this was fucking hard as shit." And then I opened one of the chests and had a bunch of enemies in it that almost killed me. Nice! And if I had died, I would have to redo the entire trial. That's awful! Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to blow it up to interact with it. Hear that, Utah? Yeah, There's you more can... things you can do than bomb! Bombing stuff is not your only interaction with the war. I successfully hacked into their system. That's unrelated! My sabotage should have been flawless! Henri, you're continually kind of bungling it. Like you said, your yeah, codes were flawless, and now you're saying your hacking's flawless. 
But yeah, this is why uh, being thorough with destroying everything is important, because if you hadn't had ranged for these guys, it would be really annoying. Uh, they're still really annoying, because they cover a surprising amount of distance with their normal attack. Uh, remember you do have utility bomb, like the EMPs and gravity stuff. All tools you should be using. Great. Because I think you're... Because you do have a cap on the... I, I can't remember what the cap is. I think it's something like 20. I think it's 20. Oh, yeah, it's so a hunch, but should, I think it's 20. <laughs> you should be using that. Delicious. My life up. Mountain Dew. You know, since if they ever re release this game, like it's a remaster or something like that, because it's a Bandai Namco now, and they have a rice the rice of Konoa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much! I can't! We're totally surrounded! Okay, they've stopped talking. I was gonna say they should do a Klonoa pack where uh, Yuda just goes wahoo and manya whenever he's like blowing up shit and jumping. But yes, Tim is great. I love Tim. It's hard not to. The cast in this game is actually pretty nice, even though their voice acting is for it. Uh, you should, uh, you should avoid taking damage, possibly. Yeah, it's uh, these guys fucking suck. Remember, you have EMP. Ah. Uh. I need to get used to using the air dash more, I think, is the issue. Oh, you have healing on the, the patch of fire. Uh... You have a stack of bombs, that's why. Oh shit, yeah, I just realized that. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie whoopsie. This music fucking sucks. How fucking How, dare who, who fucking How said? Fuck it. Time out, low sneeze. <laughs> How dare you? In this house, we respect Simer Silent Bomber's music. Siren Balmer. I'm very good at words. I think I got everything. Exactly, Siren Bummer. Siren Bummer, man. I love these. What are they? What, what, what are these? Like freight elevators? I don't know what they're called. I don't know. I've never seen a special elevator. <laughs> That's this guy. Yeah, he, he sure gave you a little of this. I can't believe their shield is still active, that's kinda fucked up. Ooh, nice shot. <laughs> nice spread. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Ah, now you're playing like Bomber, man. Come on, boy. Uh, little bastard. I don't think he's coming over. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. You were. I'm right. the smart. Yep, sure, show them. What? <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Damn it! That hurts! Uh, I won't forget! 
Do you ever notice how it's always the same arm that he loses? Do, do I just... Do I... It's, 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 it's his uh, second favorite drinking arm. Ah, I see. Oh no, it was the hand that he writes with. Oh, this is gonna be awful. Now he's gonna have to learn to write with his left hand and it's gonna be mis- D! For- Yeah. Do better next time. Wait, no, I already said that. D for, uh, Dexalent. Domber man. No. No, 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 that's a different game. Hello, Jed. That's a different game. That's a big twist. D for, D for Dark Souls. No, that's that's way later. Got to see my E unit. Uh Yeah, I might want to invest in shield now. Oh, I thought shield was. I'm useless. gonna fucking smack you, bear. <laughs> I've received an SOS from Tim. Calling that an SOS is being really generous. Just as they were heading for the catapult to meet up with me, they were surrounded by the enemy. Damn it, these guys are nothing but trouble. Damn, Utah. A shame that you're a fucking softy. I'm sorry, Lolo. They're all over us! Can't you shake them? I can't get any more thrust! Damn, we're going down! Damn, we're going down! You know what? Tim. Are you okay? Sick landing, dude. Uh, for the moment. Utah, we need your help. Hurry! My directive is to destroy. So you're not on a timer yet. Not here for a rest but you will be at one point. Uh, go left. You have some stuff to break. Yeah. Don't you even care what happens to your teammates? Listen, Utah. I'm ordering you. Proceed to the lander at once. What and if? Tell the enemy. What if? Roger. Stick with me here. What if he gave her guff so she would order him? I mean, probably. The timing of that scream was <laughs> incredible. <laughs> I'll stall them. Hey, those are hard shells out there. Okay, now you're on a timer. Man, he's already left. So you see that shield percentage? That's their health before they die. Only I could find out where the fuck they are. Uh, they're north. Is that a... Oh, that was not a new chip. <laughs> I love the tiny little shots that you don't notice. Until you get yeah. fucking nabbed by it while you're trying to do something else. The box is on your left. On my left? Okay. Oh, that's why I didn't notice them. I'm here to help. I don't want you getting in a situation where you can't beat the game because you don't have upgrades. Oh, don't even joke about that. Boxes on your left. Mm -hmm. Look at that, delicious. Please, I just, oh, do I just gotta jump? No. I think the crates you broke might also have something. Stop eating my lock on. I have napalm, yeah. napalm. Like this. <laughs> But yeah, if you're eating a lot of projectiles, a uh, flame patch is pretty useful. Hey, later! Suck it, losers, I'm out! Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. So I think on the left you have boxes as well. I do, there's a lot of them too.
What's in the box? What's in the box? A whole fuckload of napalm. Bam. I wonder what that's for. I don't know, man. What could I ever use all that napalm for in this, a defensive mission? Do you have enough chip for a shield now? I think I do. Hell yeah. Look at these stats. 10% 10 per 10 less damage. But man... I mean, at least... They don't do, like, right. Elden Ring numbers of damage, okay? It's like 10% is actually a difference here. Oh. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yep. I really should be using those more. Yeah, you should use these special bombs more. They kind of just give them away. Mm, going up. What's, what's wow. this way? Oh no, it's nothing. Not even a collectible. What bad level design. Uh -oh. oh. I didn't realize you could do that. Oh yeah, no, hello Jed. This game fucking... This game's great. Yeah. I don't know why everybody in chat was like, lol, this game looks terrible. Oh, this game's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, this is like one of the best PlayStation 1 games. It's just a In fucking... my completely objective opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you have a bit more on the left. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Hmm, I wonder what's about to happen. Okay. You should have? Is this no oh is it no four cost for the shield? It's probably four cost. Four. No, 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 that's that that's a friendly ship. Yeah, no, I didn't do it on purpose. Well, okay. that's gonna take some damage. Ah, uh, it's only like three. So when I played this initially, uh, as a kid, I skipped all cutscenes, so I didn't know that you were supposed to protect this, and I kept wondering why I was failing. Oh, oops. I just did a bunch of damage mm -hmm. to it because something got too close. I think there's stuff on the right with maybe. No. Oh, there's no, not. No. Who's down here? Are down to 60%. Being damaged from something over there. Just getting damaged from off screen. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's that fucker. Remember, you can stun them. Shields at twenty percent. Fucking Christ! Now my issue here is the fact that uh, they get too close. What? God save me! I promise what? I won't steal anymore. <sighs> oh my God! With our necks intact, huh, John? Trading shots with hard shells without wearing any armor? You're one crazy geezer. Not as crazy as a man who charges headfirst into battle to save his crewmates. I was only following orders. That doesn't change the fact that you risk your own life in order to rescue us. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, John, you're a pretty cool dude. Tim, report on the lander's condition. Well, it's pretty messed up. It's gonna take a while to fix it. <laughs> it appears we'll have to figure out another route. <laughs> Utah, see that bulkhead right over there? I want you to go back inside the ship. Sure, it's a shame it took so much damage. It was unavoidable, though. There's nothing I could have done to stop it. Yeah, you're this part kind of punishes you if you just attach bombs to the hard shells you're kind of meant to put them on the ground so it doesn't hit the ship okay uh, you know what i'm gonna try something because i'm curious did you save say at least yes <laughs> okay Is this...
Yeah, you can still fail. <laughs> yeah, I think though that there is a line. Um, if it explodes, like if you game over during the defense. I was just curious if I could kill it after the cutscene. The answer was yes. C for cool. Yeah, exactly. They did call in a demolition expert for reinforcements in a defensive mission. I hesitate to call us less a demolitions expert and more just a mad bomber. The liner is just ahead. Be careful. In that we are mad and we bomb things. Nobody's here. The linear liner is an automated train. The linear liner. Cargo. Even the loading and unloading is automated. That means I can hitch a ride with the cargo all the way to the main area, huh? That was pretty low key track. Lieutenant, have you heard from Benoit yet? No. I've tried repeatedly to reach him, but there's no response. Weird. Do you have any information on his status? I don't. I mean, we'll now infiltrate linear liner. Linear liner. I can't believe you're doing the same joke from six years ago. It's fun to say, okay? Linear liner is a lot of fun to say. Security gets tighter the deeper I go. Sorry, I can't help but I've say linear liner because linear liner is a lot of fun to say. System. And you should really say linear liner because linear liner rolls really well off the tongue. But you're not going to say flawless this time. Hmm. You've got one screwed up personality, you know that? Oh shit. All right. So it is true that they saw through our codes and they ambushed us. But every single decision I made was the correct one based on the simulation. All based on simulation, huh? Oh no, this shit. What? Does all of your combat experience make you such a big shot? Yes. Is killing people something you can really feel proud about? Well, he's not. I want you to know he's the I'm opposite, the really. In the hope of supporting peace on our planet. Proud. I have never taken pride. I guess when I think military, I think peace. Huh? This is all I have ever trained to do. I didn't know I had any other choice. Look, Utah, I'm. You're what? You're what? Utah, Bitch, you what? Get out of there! Henri. Shall we? <clears throat> Oops. Our transmission was intercepted. <laughs> Wait, there's something wrong here. I was suddenly cut off from Henri, and then the linear rail jerked to a halt. No, it's the linear liner. The linear Utah. liner. It's the linear liner. Looks like our transmissions were intercepted. When I jumped out, I took shelter in a giant power cable. Wow, I wonder if there's a mole. Oh, this stage fucking sucks. Oh. I remember this, unfortunately. Oh. There's nothing to worry about. You've only lost someone who was tying you down with orders. Come on, you No, but he likes Cut orders. Loose. Call up those killer instincts and reclaim who you really are. Killer instinct sucks. <laughs> Benoit, please shut the fuck up. I got some shit on my plate right now, and I really don't have time to deal with your edgy garbage. Can I make a slight recommendation? Yeah. Remove some stuff from your range and add it to shield. Yeah, the range is gonna be completely useless here. Yeah, because this, uh, this stage, uh, is pretty difficult because you have no, um, you, you can't see anything. I've noticed. Yeah, it's really great how zoomed in it is compared to usual. Yeah, it's, it's it's not a fun place. I think there's one more stage that does a segment like this, uh, but this one's pretty bad. 
There we go. Dick! Uh, remember that the napalm eats the projectiles. It is true. Fire is your friend. It's true. Fire is a tool, like anything else. I'm not a tool, how dare you. It's a fire. Oh no, like anything else. Oh. Man, take it however you fucking want, all right? Also, uh, you can also blow up these laser traps. You just set a bomb next to it. Yeah, no, the issue is, uh, even if I pace out my bombs, if I had already held to begin with, it'll keep shooting until I just re completely remove my finger from the, uh... Look at all those points you're getting with the napalm. You'll get S rank in no time. Where, where am I supposed to- oh, this is what I was looking for. That box specifically. Well, no, but you know what I fucking mean. Yeah, yeah, no. You need one more E-chip to upgrade your shield again. Damn, just using five napalm. I'm not fucking around. Anymore. I I don't want to deal with these fuckers. All right. Uh, this place sucks. Yeah, that is my least favorite stage in the game. Deep insights from your buddy Torpo. This place sucks. Level bad. 10 out of 10 would make, play again. Make, make level good instead. What if level not bad? Eh? Eh? Exactly, Shark Vega. If I was the person making Sound Bomber, I would just make all the levels good. You know what? Unfortunately, you're not the one making it. Yeah. I hate these fuckers. There's a shot Cyber zone. Connect. Cyber Connect could totally poach me if they were like, we want you to work on a new Sonic Bomber. I'd drop everything. Fuck Sweden, I'm going to Japan, we're, we're doing this. Just this citizenship I worked hard for? Fuck it, don't need it anymore. We're going to Japan. Oh, well, 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 I'm still keeping my citizenship. That's why I can <laughs> say the big things now. I'm basically being like, oh, I have the citizenship, now I can leave. If it was a year ago, I'd be like, oh, I can't. I'm not even the worst. I want to uh, keep my citizenship prospect. Oh, you figured out how the door works. Yeah, I mean, I, I already solved one of those doors before. Wait, what? Oh, hey! Huh. That looks like a boss. Sure does! Back in here, though! By the way, I, I, your regular bombs also kill um, uh, projectiles, it's just that the fire, because it's ongoing, does it better. These bombs kill fascists. So when every single one has a- whoa! Ho ho ho! Saucy. More like smooth bomber. Exactly, Shark Vega. It's classic game design. Just what if we didn't make it bad? Because every no one unless, knows. Unless, unless it's a From Software game, in which case everything was handcrafted, and intentional, and therefore perfect. It's true. There was uh, 
th those those poison swamps were handcrafted intentionally, unfortunately. Completely unnecessary, but worth it. Uh, do you check the lower right before you go through the door? Well, oh, because I figured this one was progress. Oh, is that one progress? Oh, I didn't say there was a door there. Never mind, never mind. You're correct. At the very least, this one has more paralysis. I feel like they're trying more to send paralysis. me a message here. Ooh, nice. Almost died there. It's fine. I, I won't die if I don't die. It's very simple. Just reflexive. Channeling your inner Lolo. It calls Torf to me. The puzzle. Damn, that's that's rude. Oh, you you cock! Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna blow this napalm in my face. Oh man, uh, I don't think that plan's gonna work. No, probably not. Let's see how far back we can go. Oh my god! Can't kill that with range as well. Can't like, just stick a bomb to it. Like, my issue is that oh, they man. home. Kinda arcane, yeah. No, they, they actually do have homing, and it's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there might be health on your right. Maybe, I'm... I think I saw a container, yeah. Thanks, game. Fuck you! Wow, it's a data chip! Gotta get the D. What are data chips for again? Uh, versus mode characters. Oh, that's right. I like how carefully you were to not walk into fire. Oh, well, at least you, you can get more shield now. It's true, I can get- I think I was already able to get more shield. Oh, no, no, I definitely can though, though. I definitely can, though, though. Though, though, though. Though, 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 though. My favorite show. Oh! All sucks. I mean, you can EMP it. Some hyper-aggressive EMP. Thanks. 10% life. I mean, look, with a level 3 shield, it's gonna be worth it. You know, at least this game feels pretty good once you get the hang of it. I will say that. It's a shame, though, because if this game was bad, you could have said it blows. Why would I ever say something blows? It's ridiculous. I've never said that about anything before. Fucking. I really hate that they home! Ow. Like, look at how hard they can turn in the air. Yeah, you jump over them, uh, sadly. You have to jump over them or play safe napalm. I deserve that. <laughs> Just kill yourself, I guess. What you need is a big 50% health. Holy shit! Look at this shit. 
Oh, that one's on me. Okay, please, please get. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like the damage you took. No, no, you know what? That didn't happen. Ah! I just. Anyway, welcome to Retro Wrecking Rhapsody. Seriously! What is this? <laughs> just jump forward, man. Oh, God. Worth it. Not in the fucking mood. To be fair, this 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 level do be sucking. This level is actually uh, justifiably garbage. rewindable. Well, because you can't see everything. It's it's, it's zoomed as zoomed in as a fucking Super Nintendo game. Yeah, I also uh the other fun thing is don't know where the checkpointing is. I ain't gonna lie, any. I think I think it was on that walkway you passed. But I'm not willing to bet on it. Yeah, see that's that's the that's the thing. I don't feel like playing that game. Well now you've gotten a proper heal, so now you have to play legit. Yeah, I don't know about that one, buddy. Why do I? Look, I know the the game is fast and explosions everywhere, but you gotta take your time. You know the music is slow, and so should be you. No. So should be. So should you. Be. Move to the beat. Okay, but there was a one. Game, please. Target the fucking there, thing! There was that one path all the way back to our bed that went upwards and you can go to. Uh, well, if it has e chips. I'm sorry, Lolo. Let me know when you can type back and I'll call you out then. I was left in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, let us know when I'll you're see. done driving. Shut up. Let's. <laughs> wow, bear! Ah, uh, you're gonna appreciate that. No, that was the, what I meant. You yeah. Know, I spoiled everything else. It's I like, can't believe nobody knows about Silent Bomber. That means I'm obvious. I obviously haven't streamed it enough. Also, yeah, wait, like, this game's full up. <laughs> nope. This game's fucking great. This game's fun. Now watch as I bounce off of every wall trying to do fucking air dashes. This game's fun. This game's great. It's one of the best PlayStation 1 games of all time. Oh, Lord. And if you disagree, you're stupid. I wonder what George Wood would have thought about this game. Mm, he'd probably want it to explore Utah's war crimes more. Did he ever review Metal Gear Solid? No, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to check, but I don't think so. I can check. Mate. Uh, there was one video on how to beat Psycho Mantis. Oh yeah, he was super impressed by that, if memory serves. I remember him- I, I'm pretty sure he was impressed by Psycho Mantis. He does seem like the kind of person that Psycho Mantis was designed for. He really does. He's also probably like one of those people who played Chrono Trigger and then when the trial called him out on all the things he did, he was just like, Oh my god, this is the best video game of all time. 
I Give remember the second time. That's our good. That's my phone. Thank you. I forgot to mute. I had I still have an alarm set for 6 p.m. and I don't know why I have it set specifically for 6 p.m. Because it's midnight my time, so you can tell me to go to bed. Yeah, I can tell you a good night story every night. I mean, I wouldn't mind. But man, I got nothing. Oh, whoa! Ho, 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 ho. I can apparently do this. Wow, I can't believe this game has falling through whole technology. I know, right? Revolutionary. Never before could you fall through a hole in a video game. Also, this game is available on PlayStation Network on PS3, but the PS3 emulation of this game fucking sucks ass, so I recommend just playing it on a PS1 emulator. Noted. Wow, there is a surprising lack of e-chips. Look, Shark Vega, everyone knows that homies, uh, tuck other homies into bed and kiss them goodnight. It's just how it works. I've never had a homie do that for me. I guess I don't have real homies. You don't have real homies. Wow. Starting to learn I this I can't way. believe, I can't believe I learned this during Pride Month of all days, <laughs> of all months. Fucked up, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, as we all know, the, the plus in LGBTQ plus uh, stands for homie. Among other things. I thought I, I thought it was just ally. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! How fucking dare you? The plus That's what the A stands for. Supporting for. Plus stands for supporting individual who won't officially commit, commit, but will respect what you do in silence. <laughs> My favorite kind. No, no, no. The plus actually stands for a corporation that is willing to support you on paper because it is profitable for them, while still trying to push uh, legislation that uh, you know hampers your rights. I didn't know Disney Plus stand stood for that. Yeah. Okay. My favorite part of Pride Month is always the brands. My favorite uh, part of Pride Month is all the uh, promotional price commissions you can get from furries. Mm. Yeah. It's like, oh, do you have a sona? Do you want a background with a flag? Do you want the puking pride flag colors? Do you want to eat candy? I mean... Pride color? Do you want to drinking a milkshake in pride color? Like, we have it all. We're right here for you, baby. <laughs> YCH. 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> My bones! First try every car. Yeah, same when I too like brands recognizing topic. But no, that's the best. Ah, finally we can segue into talking about that one skit from inside. <laughs> no! <laughs> we were able to dance around it for so long. D for don't talk about inside. I don't know, I don't need to talk about how that movie fucked me up emotionally for the rest of the day. <laughs> Inside is very good, everyone, and you should watch it. The, the Bo Burnham special, very good. Highly recommend it. Make sure you don't have other plans for the day, though, if you're easily depressed. 
It's a lot. It is... It is very heavy. Some people call it the Evangelion of the modern era. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But yeah, no, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's very good. Everyone should recommend- everyone. 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 My, how disturbing. Planning to burn your friends, too? Pacino, aren't you supposed to be backing up the lieutenant? Yeah, but she's been captured. Don't make those scary faces at me. There's nothing I could do. Yeah, not everyone has sick bomb devices strapped to their wrists. Uh, don't tell me you're planning on rescuing her. Hey, you're not Very worried about Very defined butt crack. Chick, are you? Very good. A commander is necessary to continue this operation. I need her to command me. Is that so? Well, all right then, Yuta. I suppose I can tell you where Henri is being held. But in return, I want you to do a little something for me. Ah, uh, of all the good ideas in this the year of our Luigi 2022, Malik, that bring that's a great one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rebooting the honeymoon, excuse moi. Finally. Are are they keeping the fucking Metaphors how... for beating your wife for a new era? That's not a metaphor. I mean it's an actual threat. <laughs> what do you say? Pow! Straight to the moon. Can't wait. Uh, as a condition for her telling me where Henri is, uh, Machino wants me to destroy the air plants in the resident. What? Residential area. Looks like she plans to use the confusion to save just herself. This is one sly woman. Yeah, the confusion caused by fucking up the air in the residential section of this giant planet sized planet sized planet sized fucking ship. Take it easy, they'll survive. The backup plan will kick in. But it will cause a big commotion. And then you'll take advantage of the confusion and escape. That's right. I'm counting on you. You know what? At least she's not a complete monster. So what I really like about this uh, level is that you can break the glass of the buildings and then enter the building and set the bombs there and then like destroy it. These are details you don't expect in a PlayStation 1 game. Also, yeah, this level's kind of fucked up. No, it's fine. It's- we're not monsters. Cause nobody's gonna die. But the backup's nobody's will kick gonna, in. Nobody's gonna die in this explosive demolitions attack on a residential area. When has a little bombing killed anyone? Don't answer that. I'm gonna grab some water instead. <laughs> Oh my bones! I I appreciate that. You know what? At least this is a lot of fun. I love blowing up houses of innocent civil. We're th the good good guy. I think we're technically the good guy. I can't be sure though. We are the good guy because we're trying to stop the Dante from destroying an entire planet, which we live on. By killing everyone on the Dante, yeah. Well, okay, look. There's very limited ways to stop a giant planet-sized ship from destroying your planet. I'm sure they have tried diplomacy at some point. <laughs> diplomacy has failed. Utah, go on the ship. 
negotiations have broken down. I'm I'm definitely I'm willing to bet that they have sent them these ships full of fucking military and other convicts uh, as an act of desperation. No, uh, what, what do you mean sending a suicide squad is an act of desperation? I've, I've watched the Suicide Squad, I know how this goes. No, no, watching Suicide Squad is, is an act of desperation, sure, but... No, no, the Suicide No, Torpid, I'm not talking about the movie Suicide Squad, I'm talking about the sequel to Suicide Squad. It's called The Suicide the, Squad. The, the Suicide Squad, okay, yeah. Yeah. Somebody had to explain this to me when they were like, we should watch Su the Suicide Squad. I'm like, is that movie complete garbage? No, no, no. That's Suicide Squad. They didn't want their buildings to be destroyed. They shouldn't make it so fun to be to destroy it. It's very simple. I agree. You have not destroyed a single target yet. Nope. I've been intentionally avoiding it. Whoa. Are you trying to get, play the pacifist route? No, I'm trying to blow up every fucking building before I break the, the targets. Ah, you're going for uh, that achievement. Yeah, they go the, the genocide run. This is this but also sex ed. I like the suicide squad. I thought it was a fraud. Had cheesy popcorn moments. And that's what I was in the mood for. Also, man, this this level is a breath of fresh fucking air after the previous one. Oh, uh, don't worry, we're gonna destroy all the fresh air soon. I mean, yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> then all we get is that gross recycled air. Disgusting. It's just, it's very satisfying committing these war crimes. Wow, I wonder how many people are gonna clip that. Probably not many. Thanks, don't put sense out of context. That is kind of like fucked up though, when you say like, it's so much fun committing these war crimes and somebody says like, wow, that's fucked up, and you're like, no, it's out of context. What was the context? I guess like maybe if you're playing Crusader Kings, people will understand. No, that's I love killing my children. Yeah, so he was playing like, oh yeah, Crusader Kings is really fun. And like, like a super nice person and they're explaining to you. Like, oh yeah, so like I uh, basically made sure that all the children I didn't want to be heirs uh, yep. were imprisoned and then uh, sentenced to death so that the only one I liked would survive because that would give me optimal stats and you're like, yep. what are you talking Just, about? oh no, my kid is kind of stupid. Time to assassinate him! This is what it's you like get for when, being dumb. It's like, it's kind of like when I, uh, when I'm like like being this super you know nice person and everything, and then um, I'm Ow. like, oh yeah, I really enjoy when uh, you know I can set fire to enemies in the games, and I can tell the quality of that based on the enemy screams as they die. <laughs> Me going like like okay yeah I'm not I'm not sold on the screaming. I think like which should be better. Could be there could be more terror. There could be more terror. Is all I'm saying. I want, I, I want, I want to feel their life extinguished together with the flames once they expire. Have I ever told you the first time I played, like, when I was preparing to do for Star Breeze and I asked some people to play Payday 2 with me? Um, and I hadn't played before, but I had a bunch of DLC, so I played uh, a, a build with a shotgun and flame rounds. And I was playing with some people who had played it for a while, and somebody just asked, 
wait, what's what's it sound? What's it screaming? And because I had been setting fire to all the cops, it was just constant screaming in the background of the level. Oh my god. Like music to my ears. Yeah, see, when I played that game, all I did was just have a million pistols. Because that, that's... I like... Hmm? I, I like... Thank you for saying that, because oh, otherwise, no. every time... I talk to people, they're like, So bare. About that judge. Is the judge gonna be it? And I'm like, oh my fucking god. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even use that. I just, I just had pistols. I had many pistols. The judge is the uh, shotgun pistol. Yeah, I used normal Everybody ass fucking pistols. I like this. I, uh, I think I also use a judge, but I just like shotgun fire ammo. It is fun. But man, I'm just saying, there's something to be said for a game that makes just normal pistols satisfying. I mean, it's a pretty old school approach, because in old games, pistols were very good. It's kind of just more of a more modern oh, thing of making. Pistol suck ass. Mm hmm. It's a shame. Sadly, no, no game will ever have the coin revolver from Drunkdale. I know! Uh, joke's on you, though. The best thing to do with the coin revolver is to actually flip all the coins and then use your railgun on it. I mean, that is a strat. You can also just throw a coin punch and punch like a child. Well, yeah, but if you punch it, it increases the, uh, the multiplier of the coin. So you can just keep punching it, and this was a strat for a specific boss to one-shot him. And then they nerfed it. Our friend's back! Yeah. He's big. He's huge. So this is a bit of a chonky fight, I'm just gonna warn you. <laughs> yes, you can jump on his ass. I see, it's gonna be this kind of fight. Uh, you, you can just set the bombs on his boat, yeah. Don't set special bombs on his butt, make a black hole in his ass. Please, I don't need bombs to do that. Holy shit, that fucking deleted them. Oh, and now you can, like, attack his main thing. Yeah, sure can. I don't know, by the way, if there are any E chips on this boss arena, because he breaks the building as well. They have shit on them, but I think it's only regular pickups. I'm not sure about. One way to find out. You know, I am shocked at how much damage doing that did. Yeah, the EMP is uh, pretty good against mechanical units. Sorry, the paralysis liquid. Thank you, game, for fucking up my shop. I like how it looked like you said 41 mob. Oh, no, there is an E check. Well, time to destroy everything. Yep. Back at it. These mostly seem to be the things with the E chips, so. Also, I got some paralysis liquid. I feel like paralysis liquid is just lemonade. Joke's it's on like you, it's actually thing. just like that, that one incredibly cold droplet that falls down the back of your neck. Oh man, I, I can't believe they found a way to put that technology into explosives. I know, right? Now yeah, fucked up. Ah, uh, that's ridiculous, I saw. Woo hoo hoo! Hey, 
buddy. You might you mind letting me up there? Boop. Later, bitch. I'm out. I'm glad he's one sliver left. I'm I'm fucking furious. Oh no, he's still got his arm. Oh, now he's just dead. Where's the lieutenant? Ah, oh, don't be in such a big hurry. Exit that area first. Pretty sure they would reuse that sound effect in dot .hack. How dare they? I hope they proportionally decrease the price of a new copy of a game. Uh, let me for tell every you- sound, it's two cents cheaper. I got bad news for you about the four dot .hack games. <laughs> we'll let you in on a secret. The answer is no. Well, the initial four, and then there were the later three- Oh. D for dot .hack. Damn, a smooth segue. I'm surprised you didn't go like, I don't need a shield anymore and just put everything in bombs. No, I've been eating enough shit. I'm keeping it. Oh. I think nine bombs is the max it goes. Uh, pretty sure it was that, yeah. Since you haven't eliminated these intruders yet, I have no choice. I can't believe it's gotten to this. I'll I can't believe this. Dispatch scrambled orders to Blue Mist. I like Blue Eggman. Begman. Begman. Uh -huh. Honestly, that just sounds like some weird ass fucking manga. Okay, as I proceed along the route that Machino gave me to the prisoner holding facility, I notice that some units, enemy units are closing in at high speed. I've got company. Okay. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, this stage is hard. Didn't you yeah, and I also remember something about the recording of this when we did this stage for the uh, videos. Yeah. Enemy units. Bad stage for brutal. As brutal as this fucking track, holy shit. Oh, this is great. This is fucking awesome. What's with the sideways anime emoji, yeah, Black Jacket? We're gonna criticize Silent Bomber. Damn, look at all those points. It's it's so many zeros. You stop that. Oh no, this is this is no linear liner, but sewer patrol's just fine. Yeah. Game is great. It's trying to learn health, basically. While eating shit, too. God, I haven't th thought about Koski in fucking ages. I have no clue who this person is, but I'm sure you're local. Some YouTuber. Some YouTuber. You heard me? Uh, you can set, you can set bombs on that. Oh, I can. So. If not, you can just set them on the ground. The AOE should hit them. Baby on the edge. 
Yeah, okay, that's yeah, we weird. Go. Yeah, the uh, advertising in the West for this game was actually horrible, which is why not many people played it. Uh, it was just like, like a lady uh, booth babe type of deal, like just like having Silent Bomb logo on her. It was a victim of one of those. Just put a hot lady with a logo there. It was a victim of the 90s, is what it was. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my retail copy of this and see if it has any cool info on it. Oh my god, this sucks! Please die. Okay, well, he will read some, uh, or hear some back of the box description. Tell me more. Silent Bomber has everything a great PlayStation game needs and much more. As one of the Silent Bombers, you are plunged into a stunning 3D world of the one Dante Super Battleship. Of the Silent Bombers. <laughs> Where the dark corridors and shadowy complexes play host to hordes of deadly inhabitants. Utmost, using utmost stealth and ingenuity, you must pick your way around every corner with the aim of eradicating everything in your sights. What fucking stealth! Fast paced, compelling, and addictive Fast arcade pace, action careful gameplay. stealth! 26 diverse missions keep your blood pressure rising and the adrenaline pumping from start to finish. An extensive tutorial training mission turns virgin gamers into master players. Oh my god! <laughs> An incredibly fast, smooth, and detailed 3D engine. No slowdown in the game, no matter how uh, frantic the action mm, gets on the screen. I don't know about that one, Chief! Unique Big Boss 2 player VR mode to test your skills against all the bad guys. Award winning cinematics that take you through the game missions. What awards! Global, global critical acclaim is one of the best action games ever. Okay, that one's true. Well, sort of. There's critical acclaim from all over the globe. It's true. That is, like, technically this correct. This has a pretty chunky manual. Ooh. I love chunky Ooh, manuals. Um, it, st it starts with a message from Mark Kale, chairman of Studio 3. Would you like me to read it? Sure. The very high standards I set when selecting a game for my company to publish ensures that you, the game player, will get the maximum entertainment experience, good value for money, and most important of all, have fun playing the games. With our latest release, Silent Bomber, I believe that this represents the pinnacle of action gaming. The outstanding gameplay, mind-blowing mind graphics, and great sounds make Silent Bomber stand out as probably the best game available for the PlayStation. Accurate. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I go that far, Chief. Thank you for buying this game. I'm certain that you will get hours of rewarding entertainment from playing it and hope that you will look for other Studio 3 games throughout in the future. To keep up with the latest news, visit our website, www.studio3.co.uk. Say they're like European publisher. I, I figured. Let's see if there's any other interesting tidbits here. Damn. This is this is not Eurobeat. This is fucking drum and bass as shit. Background. It has been 1,000 years since the launch of the Space Colony Project. During that time, planet after planet has felt a desire for self-determination, 
Currently, about half of the more than 200 colonized planets have acquired the right of self-government. Oh, uh, okay, so they want to self-govern, and that's why they're gonna get blasted, is what I'm hearing. I'll wait for our cutscene to pass. He's These guys are absolute fuckers, He's by losers. the way. Have fun. Have fun. Um, after a number of war wars, the supremacy of uh, the supremacy of the Earth was upheld by Oruganera, a corporation religious group which possessed overwhelming military and economic power. Because of the enormous influence of the Oruganera group, most self-governed colonial planets were forced to conclude treaties with the planets union of justice. In the language of Oruganera, the Union's goal was to unite and administer all the people of space. Basically, just somebody taking the colonies and taking them over. Uh, our planet Hornet was colonized hundreds of years ago by people from many nations. The colonists overcame many internal conflicts to emerge finally as a single republic. The planet's union of justice is preparing to take over our peaceful planet with the help of a menacing power ship called the Dante. So that's your best story. I appreciate it every time I tried to set bombs, another one would appear and just start blasting me. Fucking Christ. Yeah, these guys are fucking assholes. I, I don't like this fight. Um, I do have backstories at hand for every character in this game if you ever want to hear anyone's backstory. No, please tell me while I'm busy running in circles. Uh, do you want me to just go in order or do you have a favorite? Tell me about Tim. Tim Palmer, the youngest member of the mission. Tim is a brilliant and resourceful pilot. He needs only a few minutes to master any vehicle. He gets his nickname, Mr. Escape, from his previous career of breaking prisoners out of jail. He's a talented weapons operator and is master of the hasty retreat. Uh, then we have uh, John Loss. A hero, he uses guerrilla tactics to fight for the liberation of the oppressed Nufu tribe, a primitive group held in government preservation. Preservation under quotes. He agreed to join Operation Tory on condition that the tribe be freed. His character is described as intelligent and quiet, but once he's on the battlefield, his bravery and ferocity are un. Oh my god! Yeah, this, uh, you might need to do a few attempts in this fight because it's kind of. Yeah, hilarious. so my issue here is, is the fact that they are specifically really timed, so. The end? I try to start throwing down bombs, they will start shooting, and they follow me a teensy bit. Yeah, I'm not sure also how special bombs help into this, but yeah, you kind of need to just grab the opportunity, attach stuff, and then hope it works. Uh, Michino Tifone. A professional spy who will do anything for money, Machina has stolen state secrets by seducing government officials with her beauty. Her strong points are her physical strength, strength and cat-like agility, and her uncanny sixth sense. Uh, she looks much hornier in the manual, by the way, than Good. in the game. She looks like uh, an early, uh, early Soul Calibur yes. character, almost. Benoit, uh, oh God, Mander Manderu Broth. Okay, I guess his name is a bit different here. Benoit, an international political criminal and chess master who has joined and led seven major revolutions. Benoit assumed a different identity and embraced a different ideology for each conflict. He believes that revolution is like chess and uses people as game pieces. He volunteered for Operation Toroi. Benoit is considered the most mysterious member of the troop. His ability as a soldier exceeding even Utah's. Mm. And then, uh, Henri O'Hara. Oh my god, her last name is O'Hara. 
Henri O'Hara, uh, an elite military officer and computer specialist who graduated from the military academy at the head of her class. Henri sought fulfillment in the Hornet government, maintaining planned white peace, but after joining the Hornet army, she discovered there were problems with the government Whoa. and with any large institution. Henri is the only member of the Operation Corroy from the Hornet military. Problems right. in the government? Oh, Ooh, man! Problem. Okay, Utah Fate. A genetically engineered man created by the military go government Terracon as part of its military, uh, part of its elite fighter engineering project. Udo was trained as a military weapon specializing in spying, assassination, and demolition. He went only to destroy. Then, after the collapse of the military government and the establishment of the New Republic, he was sentenced to 300 years in prison. During this term, he had a breakdown when he realized that he had been brought into existence only to kill for the convenience of a corrupt government. Wow. Overwhelmed with guilt and confused by his identity as a killing machine, he ended up losing all his emotions. He is the master of the bomb. Also, you're doing pretty well with this uh, fight so far. <laughs> my bones. I'm I'm almost a little sad they aren't using the orbs anymore. This way. Hey, uh and the rest is just like an actual manual, um, and it doesn't even say in the it doesn't even say in the manual like you want to be like frequently updating your uh, e chip distribution depending on the fight. I am shocked. I like the explanation for the mission incomplete. You become disabled when your vitality is used up and reaches zero during the mission. This generally means you're dead. Yeah, da. Yeah, I know a lot of this fight's just running around in circles to avoid shit. Yeah, uh, this is one of the weaker levels in my opinion, which is why I dug up the manual. Why? Why can't we kill one soldier who's on- Cause you suck! Ah, uh, that was pretty obvious! Yeah, I'm honestly kind of surprised I got that in my second attempt. I thought I was gonna struggle more with that, but once I figured out you can kite the orbs real easy, and also use the, uh, the black hole bomb to, uh, corral them, it, uh, became significantly easier. Oh man, they even have, like... Uh, instructions for each individual mission. Colonel, the advanced Never mind, it's only down. the first three. How could Blue Miss Best be taken out so quickly? Calm down. We you should be fight the way we always do. Oh, you only with the rocket on? Looks like a waste of fuel, buddy. Continue observing the target. Okay, Colonel, later. <laughs> hey, look, oh. it's Big Boss. Let's see how to say. It's fucking Big Boss. Okay. I have one last thing before I close off this little CD case. Do you want to hear the tagline for this game that's on the back of the manual? The, the D stands for do tell. Silent for his destiny. Bomber for his survival. They call him Silent Bomber. Ooh, that's so garbage. Actual human beings wrote this. Chose to write that. That's... Um, yeah, here's a little bit of trivia for folks. So, everything that is not the first print run of a silent bomber in europe uh, this is just for the european version so if you don't have the first print run of the pal version of silent bomber 
the game is actually unbeatable because every subsequent version has an error after a boss fight where there is like a 90% chance that after the boss fight, which is brutally hard by the way, uh, the game will crash. Oh, good. Yeah, so it has to be like a first print run or a, not the PAL version. The facility where Henri is being held prisoner boasts impregnable security consisting of countless sensors on unmanned robots. I'm guessing the facility will show their fangs not only at escapees, but at infiltrators as well. Shocking that a prison facility would have a thing against infiltrators. This is their prisoner holding facility. How many levels are there? Um, there are 26 diverse missions. Oh my god! Oh right, this fish. I think, yeah, after you're done with this one, it's a good stopping point, because this one has a pretty fucking good cutscene. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, at least this one's zoomed out compared to the last hallway stage. Yeah, the problem is they're constantly flooding the hallways with these fuckers. Uh, hope you like checking every room for each of us. <laughs> well, no, no, chat, chat, please. His acting is stiff and flat because all of his emotions are dead. Yeah, his soul is dead. His soul died. He blew up his soul. On the battlefield when he blew up all the civilians. Oh, there were a lot of dead civilians at that. Yeah, the lost soul to blow through. No, but uh, I, no game has ever regretted telling their uh, cast, I want you to deliver an emotionless and flat thing because your character is sad and emotionless. Never backfired. Nope. Remember when they let Samus talk? Okay, but the best part was, is the, the, uh, the voice direction in that was from a man who couldn't speak English, is my favorite part. Uh, the, the development of Other M is fascinating. What? But not for good reasons. I think gravity like would taste like uh, grape juice. It one hundred percent tastes like purple. Ugh. Sam Samus didn't speak in fusion. She just had internal monologues. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, it's like 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 how Max Payne actually only says like, I don't know. 20 sentences in the games, but all, everything else is just internal monologue. Where he thinks he is the hottest shit. I love, by the way, Max Payne, because Max Payne always reminds me of, um, you know that meme where there's a bunch of people on the train and there's like a shared thought bubble and it's all of them thinking the same thing, which is like, oh man, look at all these sheep, like probably thinking something mundane part of the mindless masses. See, instead- like, of, That's- that's Max. I, I- I instead think of just the image of the one dude in the corner at the party and they don't know I'm Max Payne. <laughs> that is also accurate. Uh, can you blow through that by stacking bombs? That's what I was gonna try to do! You can, in fact. Oh, I could just end the level. Uh, it's, uh, the segment, not the entire level. You know what I mean. Ugh. Tantic. Okay, but what's in the room? What's in the room? Nothing! Nothing. A whole lot of fucking nothing! Ouch. Yeah, I could go back to the start of the level if I chose to. I don't know why I would. We know she's not on this floor, but what if she's on this floor? I could be wrong about Fusion, because I haven't played Fusion since it launched. 
probably replay Fusion if Fusion was pretty good. You know what's not good? Getting shot at. Uh, right historically right. speaking, you're correct. That's on the heat ship. That's a projectile. Hey, it, it's they're lime flavored heat chips. The 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 shots are lime flavored. It's basically the same thing. Stop it! Oh my god, this well, sucks. Well, you know what I think about lime for lime flavored heat chips. I think they taste. Sublime. I see. So I'm glad that someone has decided to vacuum loudly outside of my door. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. He's too fast. What the fuck? Too fast. I think you can off screen like range attack. Oh, the, the fire still hurts, by the way. How is it not dead? I just love the time. You you can also just enter the room and rush that. Yep. <sighs> My favorite part is when they bounce you while you're trying to, uh lock on, uh, you then immediately just break it. Okay, but that each of though. Gonna level with ya, uh, Cyber Connect. It sucks. Wow, how dare you. I'll have you know. What's his face? Where's his, where's his letter of statement? Mark Kale said this is the best game available for the PlayStation. Does he still even work on games? Uh, check. I, I have never. Oh, I have never checked Mark Kale's current career career status. So I Hey, Henri, I'm dying. Could you, like... Oh, you're dying, too, I see. Hey, pull yourself together. Hey, Henri, get off the ground. I need to be ordered around. Yuta. Henri, please give me an order. The enemy will be on top of us soon. I can't believe it. I never thought you'd come here to rescue me. Our mission can't proceed without a commander. It's a matter of practicality, that's all. A commander, huh? What a joke. That's a title I don't deserve to wear. What kind of commander gets herself captured right off the bat? I'm no leader. I... I give up. On the battlefield. Seven years, seven ago, years ago, on the battlefield, the incident. In. Each time I was sent into battle to kill, I was also killing another piece of my soul. <laughs> I'm the mere shell of a man now. I'm nothing more than a simple killing machine. But I don't believe that you're anything like me, Henri. If there's something you're trying to save, something you're trying to protect, you know you have only to give me the order, commanding me to fight. Utah.
Yep. Uh, he's still in the industry. He's still at the same place. They're still publishing games in Europe. You know what? Good for them. Yep. The C. Yeah, they actually hmm? they actually published the uh, European version of Gun Rape Overdose in Guilty Gear. Huh. Also, the C stands for Commander. Command me, Commander. Yeah, no, this this character is peak 90s uh, video game protagonist. Or Yuda. Our Yuda here is a hardcore sub. <laughs> he is an absolute bottom, holy shit. <laughs> Exudes all the bottom energy. Big sub energy. <laughs> holy shit. Ugh. God. Oh my fucking god, they published a European version of Crisis Beat? Holy shit. Huh. Okay, and where was it that you said we should end up? I think this is a good place. E. But, or you can do another mission if you want. This feels like it's gonna take, like, one more stream at least. Yeah, I, I think this is a good plot beat to end on at least. We, yeah. we did it, we saved our commander. We bombed the hell out of the civilians. Uh, we've saved him. I think it's been very productive. What do you think, Bear? I... I refrain from commenting on war crimes committed live on Twitch.tv. Because I feel it'll put me in a weird position. But... The music was good. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ice Claw. See, the issue here is our commander, she's new to being a dom, but Yuda here has been a sub for years, and he is hardcore-ass sub, so he's trying to teach her. It's it's like that one Yakuza Zero mission, where, like, here you teaches a woman how to be a dom in the middle of a fucking playground. It's basically that. Except the playground is the Dante. And also, Yuta wants to get talked down to. Basically the same thing, though. On that note, though. <laughs> Do you want to tell us more about your observations about you, though? <laughs> no, I think I've said them all. And you know what? We talked surprisingly little about Inside today. Yeah. What do you, <laughs> what do you think Yuda's persona would be? What would Yuda's persona be? I think it would be, like, a gray wolf. Well, yeah. Exactly. Well, because he's a lone wolf. Exactly! No, you get it! It's fine, though, because he's not an alpha. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so... I hope you had fun, chat. And if you don't already follow and you enjoyed the show, I'd appreciate it if you did. But more importantly, shut the fuck up, Ice Claw. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day, however much that might be. Hell yeah. Looking forward to a great 23 more hours. Yeah, what? It's 1am here. Yeah! Bye, folks! Bye.